Hi guys, it's Christy with Pro in the Home. I am doing another blue box um, unboxing today of jewelry. This one is out of Gulfstream, uh, Lake Worth, Florida. I've done a few Florida boxes and they're usually pretty good. They usually have some really great items, not as good as my New York and my G New Jersey boxes have been. But um, I'm really excited. I've been sitting on this box uh, for a few weeks now, and I am just ready to get into it and see what's in here. I already dumped the box um, just because it just makes life a little bit easier to uh, open the box and pour everything into this clear container. Um, it just keeps all the little bits and bobbles together. And so I'm going to take out each piece by piece so that you can take a look and see what I received. Okay, so first thing is um, this yellow bracelet. It's just a plastic yellow bracelet, but it is um, it is cute. So I'll probably end up putting this in a lot. Another bracelet. This one is a stretchy bracelet. The stretch is okay, um, and it's got this really cute little crab um, that has two little rhinestone eyes. I'm trying to see if there's any markings on this to see uh, where it came from. I don't see anything, uh, but I will use uh, Google Lens because that is a great tool to try to figure out um, what pieces uh, are more valuable than others. Okay, another bracelet. This one is a metal bracelet. Uh, it looks like a belt. It's silver tone. It's in really good shape. I don't see any identifying marks on it. Um, but it is cute. So definitely... Uh, a good you know maybe five to eight dollar piece uh, unless I find out that it's something worth a little bit more okay we've got some bangles here this is a black and white bangle it's gold tone on the inside and then it's got like the colored metal on the outside and this bangle is just a little uh, gray braided uh, metal bracelet. We'll see if we've got others to put them together maybe in a lot of bangles. But they're in good shape. Okay. This is a silver tone bracelet that has little rhinestones and a little horseshoe. And it looks like this horseshoe is missing um, at least one rhinestone right here. It's also got a, a ring here, like there's something else that should have been on it. I don't see any markings. I don't believe this is real silver. But of course, I'll test it just in case. Hmm. Now, it's not scratching off anything. Um... Yeah, I'm not getting that. It may be that it's stainless steel. Hard to say, but I'm going to put this in the craft pile since it's missing some stones. A little bit about my craft piles. I do um, send jewelry that I don't intend. I mean, I do sell jewelry that I don't intend to sell individually. I do put them in craft lots and sell those on eBay. Okay, oh. Let's go to this bracelet. Oh, I love this. Um, I have several of these already for sale. These, um, I have the ones I have are black, I believe, and maybe green. And the Coinsdale um, inlay of you've got like the gold tone metal, and then you've got the painted enamel inlay. And it's these are really beautiful. Uh, they're not worth a ton, but they are. Uh, there are people that collect these and love these, and they, they do have a, a vintage vibe to them. And so we'll see if there's another one. Usually they come in pairs. 
this is a little elastic stretchy bracelet. It's a, a pretty um, design, a little sunflower motif, but the stretch um, is starting to, you can see that it's starting to get discolored and it's just not worth me selling, so I'm going to put it in craft. Okay, um, this is a little cheap bangle bracelet. I can feel how cheap it is and that it bends real easily, so this is going to go straight into craft. Okay, I am really excited about this piece. This is really pretty. I'm gonna, I don't have my Presidium on, but I'm gonna turn it on because I'm pretty sure that this is a bracelet, even though it looks like a necklace. I think I'll take my bracelet off. Pretty sure that this is a wrap bracelet. So of course it'll unwrap by the time I wrap it around. Yeah. So yeah, this is a wrap style bracelet. It's worn like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. These can be, if they're um, a name brand, they can be pretty valuable. And the fact that this one is so well made, and I believe I'm waiting for my Presidium to heat up because I want to test this stone, but I'm almost positive that this is an amethyst stone. So let's give it just a second to finish heating up. And yep, it's off the charts. Okay. Yeah, this one is definitely... Um, real stone and I'm gonna have to do my Google image search on this to see if um, this is a name brand piece and if so it is going to do quite well and will make this box more than worth it okay next piece is this um, boho type bracelet it looks like it's like a silk thread it's got these silver toned beads and a little silver toned uh, starfish. Um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It does have some wear, but I think I can clean it and um, make it good as new. Okay, next piece. Um, this is a pendant for a necklace. Looks like you could put like a a silk cord or a chain um, and it's got a blue looks like glass let me just test it yeah glass uh, stone in there it is marked Nolan Miller which is a good brand so so far finding some really good pieces in this box okay, this is a Shambhala bracelet a lot of boho jewelry in here um, this one is just, uh, these are plastic, and this is really pretty. This is just that pink, shimmery, uh, faceted ball. It looks like it's got little rhinestones all over it. It is adjustable, and it looks practically new. Very nice. All right, since we've been on bracelets, might as well content keep continuing on with that. Um, these are gold tone. This one is really lovely. I'm surprised it's not marked because it feels like a quality piece. Um, this one's just a cheap little metal bangle. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it just because it does have some nice detail work in it. And I'm going to put it with some of my other bangles. And I may end up putting them in a lot. This is really cute. This is a heart pendant that obviously would go on a necklace. It's in great shape. It's a uh, silver toned, gold toned, and then a like a gunmetal with these beautiful rhinestone inlays. It is marked uh, RMM, which I believe is an Avon piece. It's pretty.
this is really pretty. Okay. If I can get it untwisted. All right, this is an evil eye necklace. I love, let me see if I can get you to see this better. I love this type of jewelry. It's gold tone. It's got rhinestones. It looks like this one is missing the little pieces, but maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. Oh, that is a shame. I wonder if I can unattach this one and then reattach it, if that'll work. Um, I may end up having to do that. It's marked, so let me see what it's marked. Um, Bobble bar. So yeah, I think this one may work out great to just detach this one since they're broke. Oh, that one's broke too. Are they all? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, many of them, I guess. Maybe let's see here. Some of them are three, some of them, oh, there are a lot of them that are broke. Oh, well, that is just a shame. So these pieces must snap off real easily because if you look, some of them, see how there's three, and see that one's missing one, that's missing one or two, yeah, okay. Well, that's just too bad because this is really really cute but you know what somebody's gonna be able to do something with this in the craft lot so in the craft lot it goes let's see what else I can pull out of here that's not all tangled up you can always tell when things come from Florida it looks like there's a lot of like little beaded items and that's what I'm trying to work with right now to get out is I've got beaded bracelet that's attached to everything. Okay, so this is a beaded bracelet, and these feel like stone to me. Yeah, they're definitely stone. I'm trying to see what they are. See, that one's plastic, but this right here is stone. I'm not sure. So it's it's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of plastic, a little bit of stone. Yeah, like quartz so it's pretty um, I may put it in um, a lot if I find similar type of bracelets okay. this is just a plastic white beaded necklace this will go into craft because it's just cheap um, jewelry This one, these, ooh, hair, straight hair. Okay, let's look at this. This looks like real pearl to me. Isn't that pretty? Just the coloring of it. They're all different um, sizes. It's vintage. It's got one of these uh, spring ring clasps. And it appears like these could be silver. No, they're just, they've got rust to them, which is not indicative of quality necessarily. But I can't tell if these are real or not. Maybe they're just made to look like freshwater pearls. I'm going to have to do my research on these a little bit more. But I do like them. Okay. This is a little stretch bracelet with a gold tab. It's pretty. These, I believe, are plastic. These might be, the clear ones might be glass, but I believe this is plastic, yeah. But it's pretty nevertheless and something that can go in a lot. Okay, this is a maybe a faux leather bracelet. 
It looks like this should be knotted so that it fits in here. It's something that's an easy fix and something I may end up keeping to see if I can put it with uh, something else. Okay, don't always find a matching pair of earrings so soon. Usually they take a while to get to, but these are really pretty. They're a drop faux pearl with rhinestones in a silver metal that's in great condition um, they don't look like they've been worn at all they're missing the backs but those are easy to replace but um, these are really pretty they would be great for a prom formal event or a wedding really nice This is just a little seed bead necklace. This is going into craft. Okay. More seed beads. Um, this is just a long seed bead necklace, and I'm going to put that in craft. Oh, this is really pretty. This is Spartina 449, so that's a really good company. You probably know them better for their purses. Um, this is a silver tone necklace. It's um, rhodium plated. It's 18 inch, and this looks like a, uh, I think it's probably plastic. <sighs> doesn't say that it's a real stone yeah I think this is probably plastic to look like opal or moonstone yeah but it's pretty nonetheless and since it's new it is sellable All right. so this is uh, I believe it's faux pearl Yep, faux pearl necklace. This is one in the craft. And this is really pretty. Let's see. Oh, I just love this. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collar length necklace. Let's see. It's marked. And it's Monet. So it's a good quality necklace. Sits about uh, collar bone length. It's just got this beautiful texture to it. I'm just so far, I am thrilled with this box. Okay. Another little dainty necklace. Doesn't look to be marked. These look like tiger's eye. Let's see if they're plastic or real. No. So it's not real. But it's in beautiful condition, and it's like a choker. Really, really pretty. Gold tones in fabulous condition. Let's see what's next. Okay, two necklaces here. Let's look at this one first. These are just uh, plastic beads. And these are going to go into craft. This I really like. This is really, really pretty. I don't see any markings to know what it is, but it's got a lot of great detail work to it. So, I guess these are glass. And now I see what's wrong. Okay. So, while I like it, these are glass, but it looks like they've been painted over and the paint is starting to wear away on some of them. So that's how you can see that there's glass. And I think it's glass, maybe quartz, but let me see. Yeah, it's just glass, but it was a pretty necklace. But now that I'm moving it around, look at all the little chips and pieces that are falling off. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into craft. Somebody may be able to do something with it. It's just not going to be me. Cleaning this off. This little ring would have been cute, but I think it got too, way too much moisture on it. And as you see, it's starting to look pretty gross and dingy. 
I'm not sure that I'm even going to put this in craft because I don't know that that those pieces can be salvaged. So yeah, this is going to go in the trash. And I don't like putting things in trash, but sometimes that's where things belong. All right, here's a little dainty ring. Let me see if I can see any markings on this ring. It's really beautiful. It's got a lot of great workmanship to it. I don't know if it's pewter or if it's silver, but I feel like it's going to be one or the other just because of the amount of detail. I'm not seeing off the bat any type of marking on it, but I can scratch it and see if it pulls anything. Honestly, I can't tell. Let me scratch it a little bit more. Okay. No, it doesn't appear to be silver. I wonder if it's just because of um, the moisture, if it's starting to deteriorate. I'm going to keep it, try to see what I can find out about it. But And I know you can't see the detail in this, but it's really really nice detail all right here's another one of those same necklaces and that's just a shame that they're it's falling apart oh this was the bracelet it must have made a matching set okay that's going into craft too more pearls these again are not real these are faux pearls so that's going into Okay, this is pretty. It's that same as that Shambhala that has that um, glittery texture to it. This one's got this kind of funky bead that should have been a bead, but isn't really a bead. So for that reason alone, this is going to go into craft. This is stainless steel and it's really a thick stainless steel necklace. It appears to still be new. It has the tags on it. It says made in China. Um, it's in good shape, so yeah, definitely to keep it. little seed bead necklace. I'm not crazy about the seed beads, but I really like the pendant. This is so beautiful. Okay, it is stone. I'm not exactly sure. It's almost like opalite or um Celestite or could be, hmm, I'm trying to look at my stone chart to see what else it could be. Or I mean, it could be Angel Aura. I love it. I do not like the sea beads part of this necklace. So I'm going to just take those off. Um, let me just double check to make sure it's not sold or anything. No. Okay, so I'm going to toss the sea beads. This needs to have some cleaning up. Um, it's got patina on it. Now, it's... I don't, I don't think this part is silver. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, hold on. This is really beautiful. I'm just loving all the good boho pieces I've gotten. Okay, let's check this because that looks like silver to me. Why would they put a pretty necklace like this on that dumpy chain? Yes, that is silver. Okay. Well, there you go. I just need to put some silver polish on this and clean it up. I can't tell. Maybe there's a crack in it. Do you see? 
almost looks like there's a crack, but you know, all students have that look. I absolutely love this piece. I don't know if I can get rid of it. I love it that much. Look at all the colors it's pulling. I mean, that's real stone. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what stone it is, but it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's staying in my private collection. Here's a pretty little cat brooch. It's got this pretty um, rhinestone center that uh, it's really nice. Um, I'm not seeing any markings on this, but it is cute. Somebody who has a cat is going to absolutely love that. Choker necklace. It is made to look like probably something um, that it's not. It, okay. So this is just costume jewelry. Uh, it says Milan and London on it. I feel like there's like either Yves, yeah, Saint Laurent or. Um, there's some brand that has a similar looking style necklace with the London Milan um, pendant on it. This I do not believe to be real. I think this is just costume jewelry, you know, made to look like that. But it's nice nevertheless. It's in good shape. Okay. Here's a bracelet. It's B B. I'm not sure. I feel like I know this label, but nevertheless, it has the picture of a Native American man on it. It's like a wire wrap bracelet, and it's in good shape. Um, very craft-like piece. I am, and I can't remember what this is. I feel like I, I should know this. Um, if you know that that label, uh, just leave me a comment at the bottom. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm, it's escaping my brain right now. All right, let's see what else we have here. Got a necklace that's caught. Okay, these are little seashells. I have several of these necklaces. They seem to be very popular, um, from Florida. <laughs> and so, um, this one is a long length one. I may end up putting these seashell necklaces that I have into a lot. So I'll, I'll hold on to this one for now. Right, let's see if I can get a hold of some things. There's a big uh, amount of jewelry that seems to be caught. And they're just kind of like all getting entwined into one piece. It's this piece. So I'm going to try to get that out without breaking everything. But it looks like there's something that got in there. It probably broke off. Let me see. Okay. This is a vintage piece. You can tell it just from the clasp alone. I am not certain of the brand. Although it does remind me of that Monet piece from earlier. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful necklace. Yeah, I'm not seeing any maker's mark on here. So I'll just have to do my research. But um, it is a nice piece. Very lovely. Okay. Piece of thread. Not going to go in the trash. Okay. This is nice. This feels like glass, but I want to check the stones just to make sure. Let me just double check, make sure everything's working. Yep. Yeah, this is all glass. 
It's really, really pretty. It's got these um, red stones, or not stones, these red glass piece, faceted pieces. These little ones that kind of look like a citrine or topaz. Very nice uh, lobster clasp, silver tone chain with an extender on it. It is not marked, but it's a nice heavy piece, so I'm excited about this one. This is a very cheap piece of jewelry. It's missing parts of it. The chain line just tells me how cheap it is. So this is going into craft. Somebody can probably make something beautiful with it. It's just not going to be me. Okay. This is really a pretty piece. This bracelet is gold tone. Uh, these are faux pearl. Uh, some of these have a little like a pink sheen to them and I think it's meant to be that way because it looks like it's on both sides they have uh, rhinestone details it's really pretty I do not see a maker's mark but it's a nice you know it could be a nice five to eight dollar piece tangled in here so bear with me while I try to get them out okay this is a gold tone snake necklace it says okay Nolan Miller so this probably went with that Nolan Miller pendant I found earlier so let's find a pendant yeah, this looks like this should go together. All right. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, you see? That is the perfect necklace for that pendant. It went together, and I'm not sure why it was taken off that's okay we have both pieces they are signed pieces and they are in perfect condition yes I absolutely love it very good very good okay next sorry I'm working on getting some things untangled And, you know, sometimes all it takes is one chain to make everything so difficult. Okay. Next piece. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. And I don't even think it's marked. Okay. I believe it goes like this. Nope. That's right the first time this one okay let me back it up a little bit so you can see these are glass and it is this beautiful almost like a salmon color and um it's on a leather cord a double leather cord and it is not marked at all but it is absolutely gorgeous totally gives me that florida vibe love it This looks like it is broken. I don't even know what it would have been. I don't believe it should look like that. It looks like it's burnt mark. 
So this is going to go um, into craft. Somebody might be able to punch that out and use the part that surrounds it. like a okay, arrowhead on a silver chain maybe it's for a man don't know I'm gonna test it just to make sure it's not silver doesn't look like silver but then again it's not washing away so I have to do some research on that piece okay it's a little delicate piece um, not sure what to make of this okay so it's when I look at it closer I can see that there's a lot of discoloration here this little part looks great, but the gold chain is like different colors and it's silver on the extender. Um, so this is going to go into craft. Let me untangle a few things. All right, this is really pretty. This is a silver toned snake chain. And I thought this might have been an amethyst. It's kind of blue too so it's hard to say so see how it looks blue to me but it's pulling like an amethyst wood so I'm having to do my research on this but this is really pretty um, it appears to be stainless steel I love it This looks like it's broke. Yeah. Okay. So it's like an easy fix. It just needs to be put back together that way. Okay. So they look like uh, little rosettes. And then you've got these large, uh, I guess they're glass. I can't tell. Barely pulling. Um, rhinestones but then there's this one that's yellow here so the question is is this worth fixing and i'm gonna say i don't think that it is for me i mean it's an okay shape but i'm not sure if this one is supposed to be yellow like that like it why wouldn't the rest of them be yellow and see if i match it let's see on the other side see how that one's not yellow I am thinking that that's a flaw and I'm just gonna oh wait a minute this, yeah I'm gonna get rid of this and put it in craft because those stones in there are worth something somebody can make something of it make it pretty this too is broken it's plastic and cheap so yeah that can go to craft This is one behemoth of a necklace. I'm trying to get some of this other stuff off of here. how this goes to be honest with you it's giant this necklace would be so heavy and it's missing like half the necklace okay, i don't even see on the other side okay here's two could it be 
And it goes like this. Where's the rest of the chain? These are beautiful pieces and they're going to, I mean, I want to say these are glass. No, they're plastic. Okay, but this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And somebody will really be able to make something nice out of it. And this is going into my craft lot. And that is a shame because that is an absolutely beautiful piece. All right, let's look at this. This is interesting. All right, so this is plastic. It's not even quartz. This necklace. This necklace looks like gold to me, yet it's like darker up there. So I'm really confused. Let me, let me test this gold. I'm going to test it with 10% because it's certainly not um, more than that. So let's take the 10% and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it just appears to be gold, but it's not. Yeah, that wiped away easily. So this goes to craft. Believe it or not, I still have more jewelry in here, y'all. Silver tone. It looks like stainless steel to me on a snake chain, really long snake chain. This is uh, a White House Black Market. And it's just got this almost like an infinity sign at the base of it, but it's just really super long. But it'll sell. This little necklace uh, looks like it's missing uh, not only a rhinestone but the end part of that clasp so this can go into craft. This is pretty. This is very dainty. I think it's a loft piece. Oh no, Laura Conrad. She needs really nice pieces of jewelry. This is just a dainty triple chain, different types of chains, and then these little um, cabochons, green and yellow cabochons, and then uh, clear rhinestones. It's a nice necklace, and it will sell. So, so far I've had a lot of great sellable pieces. of this untangled. There's this one piece I've been working at trying to get untangled. And when you see it, you're going to understand why I think that it's been such a challenge. It's got lots of little moving pieces in here. Okay. So let's see. necklace. I just can't figure for the life of me how to get this removed. Because it's inside. Okay. Alright, 
then pause again and get this untangled. Okay, I finally got this untangled. This was a pain in the butt. But it's an interesting piece, and this is what it looks like. So it's a necklace, but it's got these pieces down here. And I can't tell. Okay, so maybe it's silver and it's just tarnished. I was going to say, I can't tell. It looks kind of like it's brass, but that may be because it's silver. So, yeah, it's silver. It's really pretty. And I'm not sure if this is just decorative, if it's a symbol of some sort, but it is absolutely lovely. And it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, I don't see any markings. But um, once I polish it, you can see that it's silver zip. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, here are two earrings. They're just uh, like a gunmetal. They've got rhinestones, but they are missing the rhinestones. A lot of them. So this is going to go into craft. This is one of the things that was tangled in that other necklace and I'm not sure what to make of it it almost reminds me of like a charm that would be on a Pandora bracelet but it's on a necklace so I'm gonna have to research that it's not marked that I can see but I need to do a little bit of a bit more research on it but it's a pretty little piece this was the other necklace that was pain with it and as you can see it's still knotted it's pretty but I mean this knot and I just don't know if it's worth messing with to try to get that knot out uh, it's not marked it's like a I think it's a double double uh chain I'm just gonna put it craft because I I don't I'm just not if it's not worth a lot I'm not doing it the work it takes. I'm sorry, it may sound lazy, but that's just who I am. <laughs> All right, this, I'm not sure what this is because it doesn't have any identifying marks to it. It just looks like a keychain. Um, but this is going to go into craft. All right, I'm getting at the bottom now. Let's see what else we have here. All right. Oh, it's a, a set. Okay, I was wondering why the two hooks here. It is a bracelet and a necklace set. They are not marked, but they're really pretty and very delicate. Zoom up so you can kind of get a better feel for. Really pretty detailing of it. Really nice craftsmanship and the fact that it's a matching set really does help so I'll do some research and see if I can find out anything about that here's just a basic necklace oh it may be gold because it's not picking up okay let's see if I see any gold markings Looks like gold. I have been wrong before. This is 10 carat. I'm testing it with. Let's see what it does, if anything. All right, I'm going to let that sit for just a minute while I go through the other things in here. Okay. So this looks like it would have been a necklace, but it is in such bad shape. I'm not going to worry with it. It's going to craft. Um, got a few earrings that don't seem to have matches. Let's see. Okay, so these these don't have matches. 
these are a little pearl like um, clip on earrings <clears throat> and they're a little scroll gosh I can't even see them if I hold them down there um, these are little pearl earrings and they're not real pearl but they're they're pretty they're a little scratched so I need to see if I can just buff those scratches out but at least it's a pair all right let's see what we see here nothing okay so that ate through so definitely not gold then if it ate through it like that so I'm not sure what this is it's not gold so it can go into craft all right let's see what's next a little brace looks like a little bracelet but it is missing the hooks it needs a hook maybe it's an anklet but again we're gonna test it it's not gold it was stray hair this is going to craft beautiful earring or it's not an earring what is that it's got a clip on it I think this is a necklace piece like a pendant it says Avon Barrera oh, Barrera for Avon no, 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 eh. I can't tell it's a pretty piece but that I'm not sure what it is okay Oh, that's kind of nice. That looks like a helmet. Swank. Probably House of Swank. I'm going to keep that. I don't know. Can you, can you do something with one um, piece like that? Okay, this is an ex looks like an extender with a W on it. I don't know if that goes to anything I have, so I'll hold on to it just in case. This is a stainless steel, another. Oh, isn't that nice? Northeast, Southwest. Um, and it's marked. What does this one say? L. Patton Sterling. Wow. Okay, so we'll keep that too. It's sterling. This one is missing something. Just make sure we test it. It's not silver. Okay. Clip on earring, there is no match for. This is this is too bad. This is uh that tiger, so I think it goes with the necklace that I found earlier. There's not another one in here. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Got this little oh, I don't believe it's gold, but I'll test it. Huh. Okay. Let me put my stuff on it to see it's another little earring it does not have a match it's not gold Oof. okay big earring and a match earring no match. Cheap bracelet. Um, oh, this is a pretty earring. It's a clip on earring. Looks like it, you could, like, oh, I bet you could take the stones out and put whatever you wanted to in here. That's kind of cool. See how that this piece comes out? You can put whatever. Very cool. It is marked, so let me check it out. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, it's June reverse. So I'm gonna wait and see about this i don't know that i'm gonna get rid of this somebody else might have this earring and is looking for it you know maybe they lost one because june rivers is really highly collectible so i'm gonna hold on to that all right this is a little 
cheap uh, necklace on a cord that's going to go into craft and then the last two pieces okay this is uh, these are freshwater pearls and it's so just a vintage freshwater pearl bracelet that's really pretty this earring was not real so that can go into craft and this is really pretty this ring it's in great shape I don't see any defining marks in here but gosh I keep forgetting to put you guys on Okay, a um, few little things that are left. Um, this piece looks like it's a pendant for a necklace. It's gold. It's got uh, the rhinestone detailing. And it's marked. And it says... Hmm. Barrera. Barrera, Avis. I think it's Avon. Maybe it's Avon. Yeah. Yeah. For all oh, for Avon. Okay. So it's really pretty, um, and I like it. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, this necklace ended up being gold, so that can go into craft. Okay. Okay. This is freshwater pearl. It is vintage. You can tell that by the clasp. Um, these clasps have always been tricky. When I was younger, I used to have the hardest time putting these clasps together. Okay, but it um, it's a really pretty piece. You have to have a really small wrist, though. I think it was probably made child size. It is, it is small. But it's got really pretty pink hues to it. Um, it's got a little bit of pearlescence as pearls often do, um, but it's, it's a pretty, pretty bracelet. Okay. This earring is a clip-on earring, and it looks like it's, like, removable, so you probably can, like, it's probably interchangeable. You put different ones in. There's only one, not two, but you see it is marked. It is... Joan Rivers. Oh, and I love Joan Rivers stuff. So I'm going to check and see if I can find another one out there. Um, you know, sometimes people will lose one earring and want the other one. And this one is one of those earrings that's kind of neat. And uh, Joan Rivers has a huge base of people that love her jewelry. So we'll try it. Okay, this is just a fashion ring. It's just um, a plastic cabochon in here uh, that is not real jade but it's got some nice detail work to it these little leaves around here um, it's a pretty piece and it's in really still in good condition a lot of times there's a lot of wear on these but this one looks good so that's sellable and then lastly we have um, just a little silver chain let's just check and see if it is silver And sure enough, it is. So that's great. I love a little silver chain. Um, I often save all of my silver to scrap. And it'll go in my scrap box. Alright, so this box I thought was pretty fantastic. Um, I am excited about uh, a lot of the necklaces. Especially uh, this one being that it's, I know it's silver. Uh... That one is one that I'm excited about. I liked this one that had the genuine stone or jewel in it. First, that beautiful colored salmon colored one. We had a Monet, at least one Monet, a vintage Monet necklaces in here. I'm wondering, like I said, if this one isn't in fact Monet as well. And the 
course. The piece de resistance was the one I loved the most, which is um, this beautiful amethyst uh, wrap bracelet. It's kind of got that, um, is it Chan Lu style to it? I don't believe this is a Chan Lu piece because usually there's a, there's a good marking on it to tell you. But I do know the stone is real. I didn't test the little ones, but my guess is those are real too. And yeah, that those are my favorite pieces, but of course there were many more. Let's not forget early on this lovely silver and leather piece and this uh, Norman Miller piece. So, yes, I love a Florida box. Um, what did you guys think? Did you Have you gotten Florida boxes? Uh, what were your Florida boxes like? Again, this one was Lake Worth, Florida. I'm sure they come from other areas as well. Um, this is called the Gulf Stream Goodwill, and um, I'm just very happy with everything that I got, and I'm looking forward to selling them. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. That thumbs up really does help me, and I appreciate it um, because it allows me to reach more viewership. And of course, that's what I am doing this for. I want to reach more people. Um, have more discussions about jewelry, learning brands, uh, learning different types of stones, and just kind of working as a, as a selling community. If you're interested in learning how to sell on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, uh, do go to prointhehome.com. It's got a lot of great information uh, that will help you get started with your selling adventure. If you're wondering what tools I use um, when I'm selling jewelry to make sure that I'm selling authentic pieces, you can look below. I list all the items that I use um, when listing items. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I would love for you to subscribe if it's something that you feel called to do because you enjoy watching these unboxing videos. I try to put out a video at least once a week. I tend to get these boxes, uh, two boxes a week, and I enjoy sharing everything that I find with you. Again, my name is Christy. I'm with Pro in the Home, and I thank you.